Okay, so I wanted to show you this. Um, I wanted to run uh, this program. I'm actually running this program side by side, right? H2R and then ProPresenter 7. But I'm using this little thing over here that is called Chroma in order to push the display for the Chroma to come on my screen. For those of you who use Chroma H2R graphic, you understand what I'm saying. But the thing is that I could not use this button. I couldn't integrate this button inside my uh, Stream Deck with companion it was it was quite just difficult i couldn't i reached out to the guy who actually created this one with no answer i reached to different people I, no answer so well, what i finally did if you see here i have the um the switcher i have the extreme iso uh, i have those four different keys so what it does is that each one of them uh if i go under my source upstream key hold on if i go to the fourth one this one you see it is a sign for my chroma actually now the way to have this button over here integrated you use apple script that's very simple you have apple script on your computer if you use a mic so you type on the script and then it comes out and this is the code that i'm using in order to run it now for this thing to run properly you have to have because here you can see it goes under uh, system events so i'm saying so you have to have your application already running or it won't work so your application has to be running there is another script if you if your application is not running you will call what they call activate but in this case here i just have the thing running all right so you call the script right here and then the windows is uh, the menu of the menu one like if i come over here that what that what i mean is this one okay the menu over here on menu one this one so i want to call this one okay on my display now I, you can see my display over here because i have it on external display so to give you a quick uh, understanding is that here i have six different display right from one to four i have them on this computer so they slide like this way so okay so now what happened is that each one of them has a kind of like a shortcut you can double click and then assign a different shortcut that you want okay so now in my case what i did is that i needed to have something that would work from the 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 button here like i wanted to have a button like chroma here that will be doing the work of this one here so every time my uh, uh media people will have to use this thing even though i was able to integrate proper presenter um the display you know the display for pro presenter with uh, f5 okay but for this one i could not find any way so for anything you can find on any app the only thing is to use apple script okay so if i go on apple script i create the apple script to run this program so if i run it look what it does look somewhere around here okay somewhere around here you will see what it does so when I click on this one, it runs and then boom, he gonna select this one and a display for this one will just appear on the screen or on the program or the bro broadcasting. Now, once I have created the screen, I control this button over here, right here. What I need to do now is to be able to uh, integrate that in my um, stream deck through companion. So I created this button from my right and then I go to search under actions. I go internal, right? And then I'm looking for run shell path local, which is the one over here. And then over here, I just tell to the path what I want to do. Now this little command line, that's what actually operates or runs the script, right? Over here. And then you have to have the exact path of where the script is. Now, usually what I do if I don't know the path or I'm not sure on how to write the path, I simply call terminal, right? I call terminal and then I just drag the file this way. Okay. I drag the file and I, whatever that is, you can drag a file, you can drag a folder, whatever that is, you can drag anything, an application you can drag anything. So you drag it in the window of your your uh, terminal and then you have the exact path and then from here type in os uh, os a script right and then you have a space and then you when you hit enter it does the same thing so now you know your script is working and these things you will have to put that inside here so that's where you run your local script to the internal terminal without having to run it through the actual terminal and then once you do that you can have this button running any Apple script or anything that you need on the computer in order to do the work that you need. So um, that's very uh, 
you know, that was the workaround for me to get everything done on the, the way I wanted. And I hope the video helped you. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.